Welcome to the Sulfimates channel. Today, I want to share with you an ancient meaningful story about self-awareness and meditation. This is the story of a disciple who ground rice in a large monastery in China, where he discovered the secret to a fulfilling life through complete focus on daily tasks. Let's explore this fascinating story and learn about the allure of meditation in every aspect of life. Once upon a time, there was a large monastery in some region of China where 500 monks lived and practiced self-awareness under the guidance of a master. One day, a person came to the monastery to become a disciple and said to the master, Master, I want to understand myself to seek the truth. The master looked at him and said, If you want to know the truth, you must dedicate your whole life to this endeavor. It may take an entire lifetime to understand the truth, and there's no certainty you will grasp it in this life. Are you willing to accept that? The disciple replied, Master, I have come here and cannot turn back. I am willing to accept. The master said, in that case, do one thing. In this monastery, there are 500 monks. You will grind rice for them. Grind rice from morning till night. And when you are tired, go to sleep. When you wake up in the morning, continue grinding rice. Do nothing else. Do not ponder anything else. Focus entirely on this task. Do not come to see me. I will come to you if needed. The young man began grinding rice as instructed by the master. In the monastery, there were 500 disciples, all needing food. He rose early in the morning and started grinding rice until nightfall. When tired, he slept in the same room where he ground rice. He spoke to no one and no one spoke to him for several months. During the rice grinding process, his thoughts continually surfaced, but as they had no new matter to focus on, they gradually faded away. Over time, his thoughts diminished. After a few years, he forgot even his name. He always remained silent, focused on grinding rice without any self-awareness. One day, while grinding rice, he attained self-awareness. After 12 years, the master announced that his life was nearing its end and he had to choose a successor. Whoever among the disciples had attained self-awareness must write a few lines beside his room door at night. The writing must encapsulate their experiences. One of the key disciples, a scholar well-versed in Buddhist scriptures, was considered a potential successor by everyone. He wrote, The soul is like a mirror, collecting dust from thoughts and desires. To clean this dust, one must meditate. When the dust is cleared, the soul's mirror becomes clear, and one attains salvation. When the master woke up in the morning and saw these lines, he became angry and said, what fool wrote this nonsensical drivel on the wall? The disciple remained silent. Despite his profound knowledge, his understanding was merely bookish, not self-realization. The master completely rejected those lines. Everyone in the monastery was abuzz with this event, and it became the talk of the monastery. While discussing this, Two disciples passed by the rice grinder and heard laughter. They asked, Why are you laughing? He replied, I laugh because the master is right. Those lines are meaningless. They hold no value. The two disciples were angered, thinking the rice grinder was a lowly monk who had never been seen reading scriptures or practicing. They asked him, can you write better lines? The rice grinder responded, I cannot write because I am illiterate, 
but I can speak a few lines if you write them for me. They agreed and went to the master's room. The rice grinder spoke a few lines, and the disciple wrote them on the wall and signed the rice grinder's name beneath. The two disciples hoped the master would react the same as before, but the lines he spoke were remarkable. The lines read, The soul is but an illusion. There is neither soul nor mirror of the soul. When the soul does not exist, dust cannot gather. Those who understand this grasp the truth. When the master saw these lines, he rose in the middle of the night and went to the rice grinder as he slept. He awakened him and said, Take this staff and robe. From now on, you are my successor. But leave this monastery immediately and go far away. I know that many scholars here think themselves superior to you. They will want to kill you because they cannot accept that a lowly disciple like you has attained self-awareness while they have not. You have gained everything I have, and you achieved it through grinding rice. I also know that wherever you go, people will seek you because like a blooming flower, your fragrance will spread everywhere. The rice grinder bowed to the master and left the monastery in the night. The moral of this story is that we can meditate not just while sitting still, but also while walking and working. The true essence of meditation is to focus on the present moment and not ponder the future or the past. When there are no more thoughts, our soul becomes clear and peaceful. We do not need to perform any other spiritual practice to understand our true nature. We only need to be fully immersed in our work, making it a journey of meditation. Thank you for joining us in this story. Continue to explore practical values in life and spread this positive energy to every corner of the world. Like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more meaningful stories and valuable life lessons. See you in the next video. Wishing you a life full of happiness and meaning.